What up, what up, what up? Um, I am going to do part two to why you should never buy a motorcycle in 2022. Um, before the gameplay starts, it's a little Rebirth Island uh, solo win. Um, I won't spoil how many kills. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, it's a decent gameplay. Got the win, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, but anyways, in part one, if you did watch it, I know I got like millions and millions of views on the on the first part, so that's why I'm doing the second part. Um, <coughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling. But, <laughs> um, you know, I kind of explained my, my upbringing, uh, if you will, uh, involving bikes and... Um, you know, kind of briefly touched on on the accident towards the end, but I want to kind of dive um, deeper into what happened and kind of the whole scenario and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> yeah, I guess let's just get into that. If you guys do um, know me personally, which I'm pretty sure everyone, majority of people watching this, um, you know, are going to be family, friends, whatever. Um, so if you think of the the intersection, um, if you don't know the intersection, um, just think of kind of a slow descending slope. Um, you know, two lanes um, ongoing and two lanes oncoming with a median in the middle. Um, so it's kind of a, not a super steep hill, but you know it's descending. And then on the way up is where it kind of gets. Um, pretty steep and then right where the intersection is with the lights it's a four-way intersection uh, four lights um, that's where the kind of peak of the hill or the slope is on both sides <clears throat> so <clears throat> again it was maybe 10 15 10 20 p.m. on a Friday night uh, got plans with some friends, you know, gonna meet up, gonna do whatever, um, so, you know, I'm heading home from work, again, uh, where I worked at the time was in the country, I maybe had to drive 10 minutes in the country, and then I'm in, in the city for the remaining of the 10, maybe 20, 25 minute drive in total, um, it is in Illinois, so it's dark out by the time that, you know, I'm heading home, um, so yeah, I'm, Going down the intersection, or not, sorry, going down the hill, um, and, you know, a lot of people have asked me, like, um, do you remember anything? Like, do you remember the impact? Do you remember, like, what happened? Do you remember, like, when the ambulance showed up? And weirdly enough, I almost remember the initial impact, not to where I could, like, tell you like what happened exactly but um you know something in in my head almost like remembers the initial impact and kind of just the you know just the sh the, the brace and the the impact um but again you know i couldn't tell you like what exactly happened um you know, I was knocked out. Um, I never lost consciousness, though, which was, um, you know, pretty amazing. I um, do remember my family and friends telling me that I did, uh, or I was able to read off my parents' phone number to the paramedics in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Um, but again, after the initial impact, the, the very vague memory that I have of that, you know, I don't remember anything. I remember waking up Saturday uh, sometime in intensive care or the ICU. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much it as far as, like, remembering... Um, so again, as I was coming down that hill, uh, going up, you know, I had the green light, the car, the oncoming car turning left was supposed to yield. They obviously didn't. Um, I forget what kind of vehicle it was. I think it was like a Nissan um, SUV or a 
Toyota SUV or something like that. So, you know, it was a pretty, pretty good sized car. Um, but yeah, I am, uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to throw some pictures of the bike um, up here if I can. So hopefully I can figure that out. But yeah, as you guys just saw, um, that was the end result of the motorcycle. As um, you know, you could probably tell, um, that it was bad. I mean, it just, uh, yeah, there's not much to say with that. Obviously, I know there are worse. Uh, there's always going to be worse, but I'm not here to talk about, um, other people's stories, other people's bikes, uh, you know, accidents that were worse. I'm here to talk about mine. Um, but yeah, I guess moving on. Um, you know, I covered that I had a Showy RF 1200, uh, you know, right around the five fifty six hundred dollar uh, price range. Um, to me, like I covered in part one, there's no amount or price or dollar value that you can place on, on your brain, on your knowledge, on your life. So to me, you know, please, please highly think about, um, you know, investing in something that's going to protect your head. You know, I say, you know, I see so many people you know, without helmets, and then if they do have helmets, they have, like, uh, a half-face helmet, uh, you know, ones that are, you know, just covering a portion of their head, and I'm just, you know, thinking to myself, you know, and this was even before the accident, if, if you, if you were to go down, and it was really, you know, you're going the speed limit, you're going 45, 50, 55 miles an hour, and, you know, and then you add, uh, other people on the road, and, it just, you know, it's not going to do anything. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, seeing people on the road without helmets. Um, and I don't know where you guys live, but if you have this by you two, you know, there's, you know, people ripping around on quads and, you know, people on, on dirt bikes on, you know, on... 252 strokes, 454 strokes, 452 strokes, just doing wheelies up and down through intersections, you know, got a tank top, shorts, got some vans on, with the motocross helmet and goggles, and, you know, I just see, see these kind of people who are kind of abusing the road, putting not only themselves in danger, but other people in danger, and, you know, just, it really sucks that, you know, I was trying to, to do everything right. Um, you know, I was doing no wrong. I, you know, worked a full-time job. I worked my ass off. You know, I, I bought this motorcycle by myself, paid for it, you know, with cash, paid for it by myself. Um, you know, what was I doing so wrong that I couldn't leave on a Friday night after work and go to see my friends without, you know... Ten remaining. Keep fighting. Um encountering someone else that was that was careless and um instead i have to sit here now every day for the rest of my life and live through someone else's mistake um so it just really does suck when when i see other people on the road you know abusing that or they don't have a helmet on or like they have a loved one their significant other on the back even worse, their child, and, you know, they're not fully protected, um, but again, that's none of my business to each their own, but, uh, you know, it's coming from a place of knowing what can happen, and it's, you know, it's not worth it, um, you know, put the thing on payroll, put it on a credit card, you know, spend the, the 16, 1700 for the pair, you know, I just don't see, 
see the point and you know why people don't um, but again you know I don't I don't want to get too much into that but like I said I, I feel like my opinion is very valid um, and stuff like that <clears throat> I know the the gameplay is getting to the end here so I'll, I'll try to wrap things up um, as far as my injuries I know I didn't get into a lot of those maybe I'll do a different video on that um, because my injuries are still very much present um, in my day to day life now um, I've had a lot of people try to tell me how I should go about life post accident um, mind you this is August 2020 it is now May 2022 so it's almost been two full years since the accident um, and I'm still very much dealing with all the repercussions the injuries are still very much present arguably worse now than they were then um yeah I've just had a lot of people in my life that have tried to I don't want to say relate but try to help me and you know you can only help so much when you don't know my daily struggles with this um, on a day to day basis but I'll leave it for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Reaper dub. That was a little 15 kills solo banger. Um, but yeah, peace guys.